Yo, what's going on, sexy simulator squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. We're gonna be doing a try hard Thursday on Friday, of course. And the reason we're doing it on Friday is because um well today, my friends, today I'm doing a uh Hold on, let me buy items. Everyone knows I can't talk when I'm buying items because I forget about how to use a brain cell. Yes, I said a brain cell because I only have one. Don't make fun of me. Um, I think I want to go... Oh, man, I don't know. It's hard because, like, meditation and... uh, Meditation and... What's the, what's the other thing? That I was gonna get meditation and Aegis are both so good against Freya, so I, I you know, I don't know. I'm gonna go meditation today. But I'm doing a try hard Thursday today on Friday because today at 6 p.m. Eastern, and this will be uploaded at uh, you know, before that, hopefully. Um <laughs> nice, dude. Thank you. But uh at 6 p.m. Eastern. I'll be doing a subathon on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Sam the Dude. And uh, I hope to see you guys there, but that's the reason we're doing the Try Hard Thursday today, because a lot of times it takes me about three to four hours to record videos for the day because of attempts. Um, and I don't really have that time today because I have to go back to sleep. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, it's the mannequins. It's the mannequins. Ring of Hakate start. The most meta build of them all. I think I'm just gonna clear and try to act like it doesn't matter if I die. Which actually, come to think of it, I'm kind of fragging. I severely out cleared. Oh, big, big damn, big damn, big damn. Oh, so close. So close. All right. Am I clear? No. Oh, actually, I have a point in my ult, so I can do a lot of damage. Like, a lot of burst damage. Is red up? Did he get red? Oh, he didn't. I actually thought he did, surprisingly. He's not coming this direction. Nice, nice. Let's just get the speed buff. All right. I really like the change they did with Merlin's uh, fire stance one. It used to tick like really slowly, which was obnoxious because when you think about it, like you're spitting fire at a guy, right? You expect it to tick really quick. And beforehand, it used to just tick so slow. It was, it almost like it just straight up didn't make sense. I'm gonna take that red buff. Oh, hello. And by red buff, I meant speed buff, obviously. <clears throat> uh, I think I stalled him long enough to miss a lot of XP from this wave. And we're going to do some good damage to tower too. That was actually a really good play. I'm happy with that one. Uh oh, that's not good. Nice. Nice, we got into the... Into the wave. And to our defensive stance quick enough. I got the Chronos Pendant. I already got the Sands of Time. So I'm already capping my cooldown. Well, I'm not capped, but... Was, well, uh, pretty much capped, actually. Because I have... Once I get Pendulum of Ages and I... I actually level up my uh, Sands of Time, then I will be capped cooldown. So... Just gonna make sure not to build any more cooldown. I wonder if maybe I should have started, like, Rot or something. Maybe capping cooldown immediately is a little not worth. Ouch. Um, I'm doing okay here. I'm, I'm hitting all my abilities, hitting all my shots. Okay, that definitely hit you. Okay, I think we fight this. I think we fight. We hit, we fight, we fight, we fight, we fight. Burn, 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 burn. Oh, man. Very nice. Very nice. Are you greedy? Are you greedy? No, not that greedy. 
was hoping he would be just a little bit more greedy. I'm a little annoyed that didn't hit the wave back there. Nice. Uh... Yeah, he can't miss that wave. Okay. I was scared because he was running straight at me. <laughs> I was nervous I was going to get clapped up. But he can't miss the wave. That's too much XP to miss. He actually still doesn't even have Ring of Hecate. So I can maybe fight. Let's see here. Low bronze to master series watchers. I, it's not, um, it's not bronze to masters. I, fi I finished that series quite a while ago, but you know, I appreciate the shout out. At least he knows about the series, which is cool. It means maybe he like, he saw the episode of one or, or, or the, maybe even just, you know, witnessed the title, but he, he knows about it, which is cool. Uh, you know what? I'll take what I can get. That's what I've learned in life, especially as a content creator. You got to take what you can get. Oh, he said, wait, I'm an idiot. Maybe he, uh, maybe he understands his mistake. Please don't come over here to red buff. I'll die and it'll be embarrassing. No. Okay, cool. Dude, that is so satisfying. The fire stance is so satisfying. I don't remember, like, I don't play Merlin very much, so I don't remember a lot of stuff about him, but what I do remember is fire stance has always been one of my favorite. I know it's not very good, just objectively, like, it's one of the worst stances because the range is so small and, like, the damage output is super good, but it's not confirmable damage. And when you have damage that's not confirmable, in a sense where, like, you can just avoid the two completely very easily, um, it, it makes it bad in general. But I know, I know you guys are probably saying, yeah, but the damage in all of his stances aren't confirmable. But the two uh, in Frost stance, it slows, so it's more confirmable. You know? Um, and the... Abilities in Void Stance are just so large. Oh, we have five buffs. I could get a six buff, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a little bit of Tawi damage. Um, I'm very not scared of you, I think. So I'm just gonna run over here. I'll get this down. Okay. I will say though that in duel. Oh my god. The dot damage actually killed? Whoa. I was not expecting that at all. I was gonna say, I will say though the dot damage in um or I'm sorry, no, in duel the fire stance isn't as terrible as it is in conquest. You can just like cut off a whole path, you know what I mean? Which is quite good. The Don't whoop me. Ah, uh, I don't like being whooped there. All right. When well, we're doing big damage, it's just like the confirmation is the issue. Nice. Nice. I hit him with the one and then the tick damage on the two came clutch. Let's go, dude. I'll go uh, void stance here. So that I can clear a little bit easier. Oh god, he already spawned. That was fast. He's doing some damage to Titan. My silver butt. Oh god. Silver. I do feel bad. Oh, I missed. That's not good at all. I missed everything. 
I guess it doesn't matter too much. Damn. Actually doing so much damage though. Alright, I gotta run. I gotta run. You win this round. You chasing? You're not chasing. Alright, we're we're safe. All right, now I have the enhanced red buff. I'm going to go Typhons here. Uh, like I said, I, I'm just going to focus on doing a bunch of damage. I have my cooldown already sorted out. And he I don't really need pen, obviously. Um, Lifesteal is very good for kind of pressing a lead. Just because of the fact that when you have lifesteal, you can stay in and box quite a bit more. Obviously, I mean... One of the most obvious statements I've ever said, but it allows you to push your lead a bit more, which is very nice, which is why I'm building it. Um, I think what we do here, I think, I think we fight, right? I think I two one and then I blink in. Okay. Well, I missed everything, so I don't want to talk about it, but. At least I did good damage to Titan. Oh, we ulted. Ah! Titan's dying. Oh my god, I almost killed him with my two. He was standing in it. 914 damage. Damn, dude. Alright, GG. Um, I guess I will see you boys in the next game. Thanks for watching this one. Yo, what's going on, boys? Game number two of the try hard Thursday slash Friday video. Um, I got the, uh, the chess, the FIDE world cup on the second monitor right now. I'm a chess fanatic, even though I suck at it. I love watching it and I love, uh, trying to learn it and uh, emphasis on trying because I'm very, 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 very bad at it. I just would love to learn, you know what I mean? And I'm sure a lot of people uh, share my sentiment in that. I'm sure a lot of people share my sentiment. Because it's uh, chess is a very, very difficult, like, mind-numbingly tough game to uh, to learn. And most, like, I wouldn't say most of the time. I was going to say most of the time. But I'd say more often than not, um, if, you're, if you're really good at chess, it's because you learned it when you were three, not because you learned it when you were 20. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's almost never... It, chess is just filled with, like, protégés and not, uh, you know, not adults who study. But that's why I love watching it, man, because I'm watching, like, you know, the, the World Cup. I'm watching people that are 50, 60 years old, but they've been GMs since they were 13. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... It's amazing. It's amazing. Which I guess, you know, might be how some of you guys look at Smite. I've been a GM since I was 19 and I'm fucking 27, almost 27. I forgot my own age. That's how old I am. Okay, well, he just used literally all of his clear. So I think we're in a good spot. All right, I'm gonna back here. I'm gonna go ring a Hakate because that's what they do. Mage ADCs is who I'm referring to. Like I said, man, it's just the meta. It's just the meta. Mannequins into ring a Hakate. I, I do think that um, I have a decent chance this game because, uh, well, Ik Ikaval is quite a good item in and of itself, so. I'm not SOL. All Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I think he has three buffs to my two right now, which is pretty bad. No. I was fully expecting him to ult me there, honestly.
Nice. Very, very nice. Good kill. Um, didn't really do much off of it, but we did get everything from him there, so I can't complain. We got his ult, we got his, uh, his shell, we got his life. Pretty good stuff. Let me go get some more mana again. Honestly, I might pick a blue buff. Like, I know red buff is really good, but I don't know. Blue buff might hit a little bit different right now. My man's going to go around breaking all my hives. Annoying. Unfortunately, it's exactly what I would do in his situation. <laughs> I can't even get mad at it. It just is annoying, you know what I mean? Anyone that's ever played a or AMC... <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyone that's ever played AMC knows that it's mad annoying when a, like a critical hive gets killed and you're like, God damn it. Now my character sucks. You know, <laughs> like you go from being incredibly overpowered and just defragging everyone to like, oh, my character sucks, dude. What do I do? <clears throat> All right. I say we fight this for the reason of him not having alt and me having interval. All right, that's horrible. Good slow, good kill. Good slow, good kill. If I ever catch him out like that and he doesn't have alt, he's going down. Because you definitely are not going to be living through that. And if you do, then it's probably my fault. How many hives do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven out. I don't want to place another one. Um... He's going to his blue. I will contest this, actually. Alright. Dropped it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it, but... It's not bad. I want the red buff. Picking all my hives. Okay. Oh, that ring of Hecate. Oh, that ring of Hecate. Damn, he got that online and just shredded me. I don't think I had beads up, but if I did, that was a mistake not using them there. I'm pretty sure I didn't have them up, but... I guess that was greedy of me to try to get the wave. Um, hmm. What do I want to do here? I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't fight me. Nice. Nice. This is just going back and forth between like who's got their abilities up during the fight. <laughs> like that's a real, that's honestly all that's happening. Who's got what they need to kill off cooldown right now. Is it Oleron? Okay, Oleron gets the kill. Is it AMC? Okay, AMC gets the kill. I'm gonna take tower. Clear wave so he can't do the same to me. And I will back. How many hives do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, I can place one more. I'm gonna go this. And I am gonna go the, uh, the crazy... ADC build like what they do in conquest nice that actually does fit everything um that'll clear I guess we'll go do blue and um I am maxing my three for good clear and I'm maxing my one so that when I'm fighting I have the best potential in case you're wondering 
Yeah, he's got telekine, so he's gonna chunk pretty damn hard if we get in a fight here. I assume we will eventually. Um I wanna go silver branch. Thorns, dude. He thorns. If he didn't thorns, I get that kill 1000% of the time. I'm actually going to change my mind literally because of that fight. Um, I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to go off C here. He's going Midgard. Uh, I can go Shoguns. I'll go Aussie, Shoguns. I don't know, because again, like he doesn't have alt now, so. Maybe he can't win the fight without alt. Because you know what you got to remember is that it's not just. Like when he alts, it's not just slowing me down and keeping him pretty much immune to damage. It's also speeding him up, you know, it's also giving him more damage. It's a two-way sword. I guess every sword is a two-way sword. Now that I say that out loud, I feel stupid. I'm pretty sure you don't win the fights just over, like, in general. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, actually. Is that clear? Um, I guess him, have, him having life steal is a bigger deal than I thought. Hmm. He also, not only does he have life steal, he also has defense right now, too. I'll have that mid guardian finished. I'll have everything up for the next fight. So next fight, I have to play it pretty, pretty wild. I think. And I guess just pray not to get murdered. Midgard being up is a bad call. Um, damn, I think I made a, I, I might have waited too long, man. I might have waited too long. He's, he's getting too strong now. He has the meta build on online, which just outboxes my build. And then he has the alt on top of that too. It's just rough. I need pen. Like, look at that, dude. Oh, my. Oh, my. I think his one crit me. No, I think his one didn't crit me, but both of his autos did. I think that's what happened. Result being down is a gigantic for me. Like I've been saying all game. Very, very good for me. Oh man, this is going to be a very methodically slow game. Because I can't like get in there and fight him. You know what I mean? Like I, I got to kind of weasel my way around.
I need Silver Branch really bad for this build. If I go Shoguns, Silver Branch, sell mannequins for Xe. Do I do that? Alright, he's doing his blue. I guess I have red buff and he doesn't, so right now is a good time for me to try to fight him. That's really nice. This is all down again. Um. Not good enough, man. Not good enough. I will say though, grabbing this red buff is very nice, getting it off the map from him. And I will go show or not shoguns. I'll go silver branch here because once I'm sitting in my one, the stacks will be nice. I get 21 stacks of silver branch sitting in my one. That's without getting the shoguns or the XE. It's very nice. Oh, I let him break that. That was dumb. Did not have sidestepped the way I did. I have red buff, so maybe we can keep it going. Yeah, like I'm doing a lot of damage with this silver branch now. You gotta give this uh give this Phoenix up, buddy. Nice. Your team has destroyed a middle very, very nice. Um, I don't know. Should I sell my mannequins? No. no. I'll keep mannequins until I need to sell it. I'll just go drop uh, the speed buff over here in order to get my finished shoguns. Damn, I think I actually lose tower here. Is it the way I played this? Or is he not pushing it? He's not pushing it. Wow, that's actually really surprising. He definitely should be. Damn, I have 36 stacks of uh, Silver Branch, which, by the way, is 72 power. Or did, did Silver Branch get changed to 1.5? No, it's still 2 power per stack, so... that's all. I get a lot of power from my shit, dude. Um, okay. oh, thank you. Oh, fuck. Yo, we got a shell though. We actually got a shell and my fire minions cleared the wave. So even though, even though that looked pretty bad and to be honest, was pretty bad. Um, we got all of his stuff down. Everything he has is down, which is very good. Granted, everything I have is down too. But like I said, I think I win the fight if everything's down. Is he going to get that red buff? He is. Okay. That red's down. So I got to go right red. Mm. 
I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. Oh my god, he had alt up again, dude. I can't believe he had alt up again. Ow. How did he have alt up again? Alright. I think that might be game. Damn, dude, that sucks. He 150% he gets Phoenix here, that's not even a question, but... Because I didn't kill the wave. Damn, dude. He's not going for Phoenix. That's actually just a bad play. Like you 100% burn Phoenix before I get here. 100%. Phoenix on this map is an absolute joke. You 100% get the Phoenix before I spawn. That's a really big misplay. All right, we'll get Xy here. I guess I played defensive then. I guess I have to. Because every time I try to be aggressive against him, he just ults me and I die. Screw it. Defense is the best, I guess. the shit out of me. Ouch. Doing speed buff. It's like every auto he does crits me. Every auto he throws crits. Probably has a really high crit chance though, to be fair. Grab this. I'm in full-blown defense mode right now. Going for the wave. Not going for the wave. Not good. Didn't hit him. This is very stressful. Phoenix is under attack. I'm a bad mother. 
Oh, he got really greedy trying to take Phoenix. He got really, really greedy taking Phoenix there. Or trying to. I think he loses the game off that. I think you lose game off that. Damn. The greed took over. That was a crazy game. The greed took over and he went for Phoenix. And he didn't have ult. Wow. I'm glad I won that though. And I, I'm glad that that game is in tryhard Thursday because that was a really tryhard game. And I will see you guys in the third game, which might be the final. Who knows? Depends on how long it is. What's up, boys? Gilgamesh coming in. Oh, Soul is OP. This is going to be a toughie. This is going to be a toughie. Another Mannequins Hecate build. Oh, it's the same person who I just played as the um, when he was the Polaron. So this is going to be a tough game, dude. The, these games are not going to be easy at all. These are very tough games. And in fact, they give me a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of anxiety because, you know... I'm not very comfortable playing Gilgamesh. I'm, I'm, I mean, just generally, I'm not. And I don't play him that often. And I think... When you're super comfortable playing a god, even if the god is bad, it's generally better to pick that god than it is, Gods, you know, to pick someone that you're not comfortable with. My assumption, yeah, is that he's going to start that, uh, a blue buff with mannequins and Hecate, as is tradition. I will see if I can maybe fight him here, but I don't know, because we'll see, we'll see. All right, shell down. The shell being down is quite good. Uh, I did use my blink to do it, but we are ahead, so it's definitely worth. In the back here, I'm gonna let him push. Start my interval. Get a mana pot. Why a mana pot instead of a health pot? Well, because uh, Yogovich has an incredibly low mana pool, and compared to his mana pool, has incredibly high mana cost of abilities. And like, like I said, in comparison to his mana pool, in comparison to you know mages and whatnot, his ability usage isn't that um costly, but. You know, when, oh god, that's horrible. But when you have a 300 mana pool overall, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, uh, using a quarter of it to use an ability is, is risky. You know, you gotta know what you're doing. We'll grab this. Hopefully it's like tier one talisman or something. Katana is not bad. More than likely going to be a sell though. More than likely going to be a cell. A blink is up faster than shell. Yes, it is. And I blinked before him, so. We always have that in our back pocket if we need it. I wish that hit him. Would've been nice. Alt for alt. It's fine by me. Reason that it's fine by me is because I, I buy this, buy that, and I buy a health chalice and I get my ass back out there. And basically what my what my passive did was give me a health chalice. He's very scared of me, it seems like. 
Um, this should be down. I just want to get the timer on it. His blue spawns when my red does, so I know that. That three is quite an issue. That three is quite the issue. I'm gonna go Talisman here. Talisman gives me a little bit of attack speed, not much. I lied actually, it's 12% attack speed, which is not bad. And 12% move speed, as well as giving me pretty significant protection and HP, which is great. Obviously I can't build on Mocity, so it's not like the most perfect item in the game, but I could. Holy damage. Oh my god. I shredded him. That was rough. He didn't I don't even think he used his uh I don't even think he used his shell. I think he died so fast. Oh. Yeah, you definitely don't win this fight. We got his alt and his shell there. Huge plays. Actually, we got his alt, his shell, and his buff. Alt, shell, and buff. Let's see if he goes to that red. I think he more than likely back. Maybe scared that I'm going to keep invading. But we'll see. I, I missed the two. If I hit the two, I actually get the kill there, which is a little bit disappointing that I missed. But... Oh, man. He's got my number, dude. He's got my number. He knows I like to, uh, I like to kick backwards. So he's juking forwards now. Nice place, honestly. Not be mad. And not be mad at somebody who's a, who adapts their play style. It's very nice. Oh, very close. Very close. And the reason, by the way, that I'm trying so hard to get this kill is because, one, late game is going to be really tough for me, and it's a very scary scenario to be in uh, against a soul in late game. But also, uh, I really want my passive to pay out, you know? And you only get that payout from your passive when you get a kill in duel, so... And being hyper aggressive, blinking on him, kicking him, doing anything I can to really try to win these fights. He altered that. Wow. I actually wonder why he altered it. I'm actually really curious. Why did he alt that? It doesn't make any sense. Very nice. Very nice. He saw me use my jump, which is what I was banking on. Because when he sees me use my jump, he's going to feel more comfortable pushing up to try to clear the wave. Because of the fact that, um, you know, I have no close or uh, gap closer on him. And so just naturally your brain thinks, okay, well, his jump is down. I'm safe. It's fine. You can fight. If I need to, you know what I mean? But um mm. That was bad. I did not like that. Next item might be frostbound. I'm just making sure he backs. You could see he really wanted to get the wave, but he was, uh, 
He was being cautious, which is good because he would have died if he wasn't. He almost has his telekines online. And when I got that kill, I got tier one physical defense. So not actually very much help at all, but it is what it is. We sell this and we go crossbound probably. And I think we go thorns. Yeah, I think we'll go thorns. And I am very tanky right now. And do quite a bit of damage. And I have enhanced red buff. Problem is I'm also a melee character. So, and when you're a melee character, enhanced red kind of loses a little bit of its value. Oh man. That Phoenix hit hard. I thought I could kill there actually, and I was very, very close to. I'm a little curious how I didn't actually. He's just checking the red buffs right now. He wants to get those red buffs out of the game. Yeah, and that's really upsetting that I couldn't get that kill. Is he slow immune in his three? He's not, right? He's just... I don't think he is, at least. Is he? If he is, then I really don't like my Frostbound pickup. I don't think he is. But I'm sure the comments will tell me. Man, this is really difficult to end the game against this guy because he's so good, like, with, um... Oh, hello. With, uh... Like, camping, you know? <laughs> Your middle tower is under attack. I just don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna kill him. You got a full mid guard. He just sits under his phoenix, though. Oh, his two is down. Oh, all right. Honestly, we got his bees and his alt, or just my alt, which I will 100% take. Needs alt for just alt. Man. Actually, you know what I want here? Instead of Xe, I want Toxic Blade. I do want Xe, but I need to I need to cut his healing. Because he's he's healing with his one and he's healing with his ring of Hecate. And that gives me quite a bit more attack speed as well. Uh I think here The only way to win this game is to catch him out. Because he's just gonna sit under his Phoenix and camp for the rest of the game if I'm not able to do anything. And it's very clear to me that that's his game plan and, and he's not going to deviate. So I think what I have to do is like, honestly, stall. Just stall, man. 
this is what I, I have to do in order to win, then, you know, it's try hard Thursday for a reason. Sometimes you got to do what you don't want to do. Result again. Man, this is so annoying. Oh, dude, all he does is camp. What am I supposed to do here? Finally. Now I need to get the Phoenix off that. If I don't get the Phoenix off that, then nothing is worth it. Reason I'm not using my one is because the minions are going to spawn over here and I need to make sure that I can clear them relatively quick. Now I do have enhanced red and I am willing to die for this. I will alt my path so you cannot follow me. Nice. Very, very nice. And I'll go this because I know I need it. And I'll go XE because I know I need it. Uh, Hidden Blade is good because I'm always the one engaging, right? I'm always either jumping on him or blinking in on him or doing something. So... sure you cannot get away from me here nice nice okay is that game probably not i wish it was maybe we'll see It is game. Let's go, dude. Let's go. And yeah, that was actually like a, a pretty decently long game and a pretty tough one too. Trying to maneuver around him camping. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, try hard Thursday on a Friday. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.